on. Yeah, you know, you're good, you're good. Uh, so, Zane. So what's the score for this match? 2-0. It's oh, currently 1-0 Mouse Rat. Okay. Oh. oh, okay, okay. Three, two, yeah, just for reference, guys, remember, this is when they play one of the matches off stream because they didn't think to ask you know, if they were playing on stream or not for their winner set. True geniuses. I have Palutena tonight. A lot of Palutena, like, everywhere, every day, but regardless. All the down the below. Palutena's after all. But don't worry, guys. Palutena actually sucks. She's, like, not even good. Heavy sarcasm. I hope that was clear. No, no, you know what? No, 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 okay. Let me tell you something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, Skelly says, I'm telling you why Palutena is bad. Number one. Um, thanks for watching. Anyhow. Uh, game two of Mouse Gut and Insect. Once again, uh, you guys said Mouse Gut is up 1-0 on, yeah. uh, on Insect. Yeah. Uh, this is this is one of like Palutena's only losing matchups. This is a pretty good matchup for Pikachu. Mouse Gut, like he's playing this really aggressively as well, just like we're sort of waiting and seeing how Insect is responding to his T Jolts. Such a good zoning tool because like you're able to just act independently of T Jolts. You're able to convert off of it so well. Able to condition that F Smash gonna trade with whatever move Insect uh, throughout there. Really, really couldn't tell in that moment. Um, right now, Mouse Gus, he's gonna be looking for the kill. Oh! There I was is. about to say how he starts dash dancing when he wants a dash attack. Guys, <laughs> it always guys, happens. Please, please, every single week that I see Mouse Gus play, this is what he does. Every single time. It does not stop. It does not end. And it's <sighs> extremely effective. Like, one of the, especially against Palutena, but against a lot of the cast, one of the best things Pikachu can be is just kind of short. So if he's dash dancing around, if he's crouching, if he's uh, short hopping with like, uh, full hopping and then landing with Tijol, like Pikachu just being short can be such a hassle for so many characters. And we see that that's part of Mouse Rat's game plan. Whenever he's throwing Tijol, he's always drifting back or he's drifting in from off stage. And then he lands against Insect and says, hi, I'm short. What can you do about it? Sometimes there's a couple things out we can do, dash attack being one of them, catching the landing on the quick attack, knowing he's spotting the straight down angle at 90 degrees. Mm -hmm. But uh, Palutena can also start to implement down air, a lot in neutral, and start to combo off of that, at the very least at mid, low and mid percents. So there is counterplay to it, but Pikachu just being short, kind of, that's shorty privilege. Quality privilege. God, I wish that translated to real life. It's tough out here. That being yeah, said, sub six foot gang. Sub six foot? How about six foot five? Do you know what it's like? No, I'm not six foot five. <laughs> Wait, five foot five. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, I lost. I lost. I, lost um, I thought. I thought I was six feet for a second. I was bunny. <laughs> Mouse got, oh my god, he's pressing at his advantage so hard that he was almost about to get another hit with his up B. You saw him like time and wait out on um, insects. Hey, so let's just see what he got. Wow. Oh, he did it again. He just did it twice. Man, Mouse got is so good. Um, I looked up Palutena's height and it said about 176 centimeters. And I was like, all right, centimeters and inches. It's like 69 inches. I'm like, nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. 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 <laughs> All right, guys. Yeah. Press a uh, press uh, nice in chat. Press the nice button. Press the nice yeah. button, guys. Thank press you for the nice to my button. TED talk. <laughs> uh, type out your nice emotes. Type out your nice. Press your nice buttons. <laughs> any, <laughs> any, nice, any nices in the chat? Hee <laughs> ha ha ho ho. <laughs> Jam with the nice. <laughs> Nice suit! Like that. That's the one. I can't believe that just happened. Well, we just had like a whole conversation about nice? No, the oh, it ended up being 69. Her height is 69.2 inches. Like, goddamn. Uh, point two. That's an important part. Yeah. How st so stupid. Good lord. <laughs> Do you think they did that on purpose? Are the no. Kid is the creator of Kid Icarus thirsty? Is Sakurai thirsty? <laughs> Jeez. All right, let's not continue that. 
<laughs> and sure. <laughs> wonder what wonder what the back and forth is. Robin, what's? <laughs> Wait a minute. Now Robin's sick. I'm a huge fan of Robin gameplay, but Robin Pikachu's not it. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. But you know, maybe maybe Three, Insects got something. Two, one. He knows. Maybe he knows. And by just jumping right into that full hop forward air, I'm going to say that uh, perhaps he doesn't. I mean, it's an odd choice to opt for Robin. I'd argue the character does arguably worse than Palutena, but it might be just for character comfort. Once again, I'm not like too familiar with who Insect is as, as a player. Um, yeah, perhaps where they're from. Me, um, me, oh wow, that was actually really, really smart. It would have covered like the tech in um, and attack out, um, but insect was just like one step ahead of space. It was a back of You know, Robin's always three steps ahead. Haha. Uh. Man, <laughs> I'm just I'm about to. Ooh. All right, you I'm know about what? To unalive. <laughs> oh wow, just up these right into the arc fire. Was about to get blown up for it, but Insect slightly dropping his execution on it. He did not have the right idea, though. However, it matters not if you have the right idea. Only what matters is if you can properly execute on it, which Insect did not. You know, Insect, you know, taking the time to charge up his elf under a little bit because he was drifting inwards, um, you know, just let himself get hit by the T-Jolt. It's sort of, I feel like Mouser is just kind of smothering him right now. I um, mean, you know, with all of his hitboxes and his mobility. Just like, it's like just not given any space at all. Yeah, like I, a lot of the times in this matchup, charging up L Thunders and Arc Thunders, and even, uh, like, no, yeah, L Thunders and Arc Thunders, they just clang with T Jolt. Uh, so you're m spending a lot of time just using uh, normal Thunder, and anytime you can, getting Arc Thunder, uh, getting out an Arc Fire. Mm -hmm. The best part about this is as soon as when Pikachu's jumping, you have Levin Sword, and Levin Sword is huge and can kill you. But if Pikachu just decides to stay grounded, like it's super hard to hit him. Like you have to come down with a grid beat. You have to come down with falling fast fall in air and or like down air. And then Pikachu can just bully you off stage as well. Like it's, it's a hard time. It's it's a hard time. But you know, there's always a bit of uh, a bit of X factor with Robin. At least it's a little bit more so than Palutena. Well, Palutena can out neutral you and just have a great set of tools at, for all instances. Robin can generally kill a lot more consistently. Uh, Arc Fire conversions are so much damage. He has the item game to be a little bit of a mix, a lot more of a mix. And. Oh. Not reading that roll instead of just rolling away in order to reset. And he's actually gotten himself a pretty uh, a decent percent lead. So now Robin can start making Mouse Rat come to him. Now Insect can start making Mouse Rat come to him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, at this point, like, you know, even though he has like a slight lead for himself, he just has to find a way to close it out. That landing floated was just 1%, like 1% later. I would have taken that. That is so. So unfortunate. Poor insect. Mouse got ugh, extending a little bit with his own back here. That wouldn't have even killed. Would have like set up a like, good edge guarding situation. That being said, Mouse got was ready to cover the DI in on reaction. Um, so it's pretty lucky that insect um, at that choice at that point he chose the DI out. Or rather, the DI in towards the stage. The extension from the Tijo on Levin Nair made put Mouse right in a pretty bad spot right now. He's taking so much damage right off the cuff after trying to find this kill. As he's trying to find this kill, still Wait, pushing on. Mouse got stashing. You know, you know. Oh no, no. Okay, mind. He's jumping. If he's jumping, that means he wants to put on damage. But if he's dashing, <laughs> he wants a dash attack. Mouse got. <laughs> Mouse got goes through phases. He goes through cycles. It's a. Uh, if if dashing, dash attack. If jumping, damage. It's the one one if then in his head. <laughs> Getting the conversion off the T jolt and reading the jump, okay. Goes for the down throw, able to start some of his up air, but just not able to link it into any other ones though. Um you see he's being really really passive, he's sort of playing outside of the arc fire range. 
trying to maybe uh, stuff out any approaches that Insect could make whenever he does have Arcfire on deck. <laughs> that okay. was hilarious. The Arcfire just fizzed out because it interacted with the projectile. Yeah, it's unfortunate that, like most of Robin's projectiles just kind of like fizzle when they're touched, which is a shame. But oh also... no, a tragedy. Man, man, oh man. Am I upset that Robin's arc finally did not connect that ledge? Oh me, oh my. Oh my. Uh, uh, <laughs> he uses double jump. He used a full hop and a double jump on that. Yeah, the back throw. Ah, oh, Insect had the right idea, but he was just a little bit too late. The back throw would have been more than enough to kill Pikachu there. Oh, that, that was super risky. He didn't just shark. He tried to land on the platform. I was expecting <laughs> some sort of get out of, uh, out of shield option from <gasps> from Insect. That was such a good teacher, Kim. No. He needs to find a way to get back on safely. Good use to He doesn't Pikachu. have arc fire. So that, lets, that means Mouse Rack can get on for free. Mm -hmm. Be careful with these uh, quick attacks oh. there. Really All right, that's it. Dangerous. Mouse Rack wants flash attack. You know how Mouse Rack wants flash attack? It's when he says dashing back and forth. He's yep. looking for it. He wants it. Oh, no. no! These jump forward bears were ended up getting caught by a, by a ledge hop. And Insect takes game two, Check shutting me. me up and taking, taking Mouse Rat. Oh, game three, rather, because Mouse Rat is up one game, up plus one game. So it's 2 1 now. Yeah. Alright. Very, very nice. Hmm. Town and City was the pick. I'm willing to bet that Mouse Rat's gonna try and close the distance now. But you don't wanna go to FD. You wouldn't I wouldn't think he's trying to go to FD. Maybe he is. Hmm. I'm thinking Smashville is the pick. If you if it's left open, of course. I don't know what insect would ban. Because mm -hmm. maybe you ban Smashville as Robin. I actually don't know. I mess around with the character, uh, both of them actually. And if, Pika if if I'm playing Pikachu, I'm trying to go to FD. And if FD is not open, then I'm trying to go to either Battlefield or Smashville. Uh, as Robin, most of the time I'm looking for at least having like one platform. So I don't mind Smashville, I think. Mm -hmm. But I don't know for sure. Ready? Maybe you maybe you like yeah, I mean he kinda picked him to town and city, so you like the open space. But the platforms that come in and out are generally both layouts are in your favor. So Pikachu's not trying to have that, then maybe he's looking for something Three, wider. Two, I don't know, we do see Smashville. One, go! <laughs> uh, I just talked myself in circles. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna say it's like Smashville. I'm just like thinking like what benefit those mouse could have to bring insect to. Obviously when you keep it smaller, when you keep it tighter, it's gonna be much easier to sort of break space. Because the last thing you really wanna do is let Robin um you know set up, you know, like fully charged thunders and then also set up an arc fire in the middle of the stage. So Pikachu generally has to be the aggressive right? Pikachu can't be the one sort of be camping out Robin. That being said, this is already looking like a pretty big deficit through Mouse Rat. Insect is looking to start something, though he's not able to find it quite yet. Yeah, it looks like Mouse Rat's just trying to play the let me try and land on you with aerials game, which Robin does fairly well at anti airing Majority of the cast, 11 aerials are rather wide and uh, do mm -hmm. so much damage and knockback. Plus, you have B Rivers mix ups with the Thunder family and Arc both Arc Thunder and Fire lead to so much damage. So, mm -hmm. I can see why he wants to play around the center platform a little bit more, but as soon as Pikachu is able to get into any sort of juggle situation, it's the drag down back air forces a buffer air dodge, and that'll kick, that, that'll kick the stock, but Insect not even letting him go another five seconds with that lead. Mm -hmm. And a good amount of just like slowly slowly eating it up, um, because obviously, as wow, is able to link so much damage, and he was in such a good position to extend that as well to be on the Smashville platform. He really like made it very difficult for the insect to find a properly landing. Good use of the T jump once again to like slough out the arc fire. Um, insect has to be careful about his use of it in neutral because it's such a committal option. Yeah, it takes so long to come out, which you know reasonably should given how much the, how much reward it has. Mm -hmm. Great spacing in order to catch the catch the quick attack two frame, but. Probably scouting out a roll that did not come. Master has been quick attacking back on the stage rather yeah. frequently. 
Uh, I feel like insects right now, he's kind of fishing for these four odors a little bit. The last thing I got off he did was he waited, he waited in shield for a little bit, he waited for the insects to land prematurely, um, or ran poorly rather, and was able to get a proper punish on it. Mouse Rat looking to get a little something stuck into his own, he's dashing back and forth. You know what Mouse Rat wants? It's the dash attack! There it was, every time. And there's the neutral get up. Once he, once Mouse Rat lets you, uh, finds your condition to neutral get up or you're gonna give it to him, he's charging F smash at the right spacing. You just gotta wait. Just gotta wait. Just, just wait to break moment. Mm -hmm. It's tricky sometimes because they gave Pikachu a spike for some reason. <laughs> so you start to think, oh, Pikachu's in the air. Like, I should get up and not get spiked. But then he lands at roll distance, then he's charging F smash. Mm -hmm. So. What yeah, I'm saying is Pikachu's a pretty good character. <laughs> Pikachu? Eh, mid. Anyhow. <laughs> um, look, I like the wait off stage for Mouse Rat. He's waiting for the first arc part of this, but he doesn't want to get risk getting too framed at all. So he waits till the very last possible second, waiting for Robin to also burn as many arc parts as possible. Mouse Rat, stop going for Skull Bash, please. I've never seen him connect it once. Yeah, once. But it's, it would be really hyped if it did. <laughs> You know, in the past month that I've seen Mouse Rat compete, how many times I've seen Skull Bash connect? Not once. Because he's always going for it off stage. He's not going for it after they're using their resources. He's usually going for it when the opponent has their all of their resources on deck. Yeah. Um, oh. Oh. He was committed to getting to that uh, right ledge, but once he missed it with the... Oh, no. I go down nail into down smash. That was really good because it sort of popped Robin up and really nothing that Insect could have done in the situation except like sort of get hit. Oh yeah, that's true. Um, that being said, this is such a good lead for Mouse right now. Keeping Insect in the corner, stuffing out the whip for the day. Continuing just to keep on applying the pressure. Good out of shield punish. f -tail catching that cross up. Very nice, Mouse Just a couple more T jolts and Elwind is starting to get a little bit low. It looks like he has one more, uh, one more charge in it. We mm -hmm. yeah. dash attack and the T jolt gimp. <gasps> he just had the one, and oh, he no. used it. Not like this. That's like that's one of the major like having your recovery run out, even though it is the fastest recharge. And majority of the time, like if as long as you're able to grab ledge and uh, L wind runs out, you're usually able to. It's usually able to recharge in time. But because Pikachu and other characters like Altana, like Damon Watch, like other characters that can just go deep and hit you off stage multiple times, with mm -hmm. you're forced to expend two shots, two shots, two shots, and all it takes is one T jolt. And that's that's a stock. Yeah. But still, that Robin played much much better than I uh, originally anticipated. So great stuff to Insect showing his stuff, showing he has more. He's more than just a Wi-Fi power. Mm -hmm. And we'll see him in the losers.